And welcome back to the Squadcast. Uh, we all took our break out of our bat caves, and now we are back to <laughs> save the world um, through gaming news and discussion. <laughs> Everyone does. Yeah. One news story at a time, and our next one is actually about CE Project Red and how it's embracing the mod community. Uh, Marcel, this is really interesting uh, because. I feel it, like they have no choice. Honestly, I feel like like if once once the week that doesn't happen, then City Project is isn't in the news line. I'll, I'll like, yeah something like hell freeze over or something. Like, every <laughs> week, there's always something with City Project. But uh, I find it very interesting that they actually are um embrace. They already announced and released their uh, modding uh, kit, which is something that they normally do at the which traditionally um most games they bring it out at the end of the cycle of the of whatever game that they brought out. Mm -hmm. um and but they're like oh no here it is right now and it kind of seems like please fix our game for us <laughs> to me that like, it's kind of screams that uh, towards me yeah. um i know it's the same they did it for witcher 3 um they but they brought out at the end of witcher 3 um and, and i know like skyrim was another like buggy game for example and they like here fix fix our game for us and i feel like they're kind of gonna they're, they're kind of going that direction as well where yeah. like secretly be like oh yeah you can mod our game do whatever you want with it but like you know fix it we'll slide you some money underneath the table or something like that you know type <laughs> of thing you know? but like i find it very interesting how quick that system came out and um i'm just wondering um what you guys take uh um what you guys spin on this on it is basically they're looking for literally any good press yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> any good press yeah. they possibly can get yeah. right now the they are reaching for it would be to be quiet like that would yeah. be the that's where yeah that's what i said last week and um yeah no the the, the funny thing is though it, this news came out and then immediately a, sl a slight piece of bad news came out when uh they had to like pull one of the mods down i don't know if any of you guys saw that oh, oh no, no. <laughs> yeah because they made a mod where you could oh yes where you could have sex with keanu reeves's character oh yeah oh, my i didn't know like hard no <laughs> how do you take that one out hard, no. yeah you see so, that might be dlc not... people might pay for the last that, <laughs> that would be and you could even put like a, tr a trial period it's like you have seven days to test this out and people would pay to extend that yeah. trial yeah trust me um but how did they not see that one coming like you have a star Right. This huge celebrity. Yeah. What do you think the modding community would do? A yeah. lot of gamers are pervs. Like, yeah. Yeah. if it's not going to be Keanu Reeves, it's going to be literally any other nerd culture icon. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because you. This is in a game where you could pick the size of your genitalia. Like, what? Yeah. And <laughs> what I'm pretty sure you're going to have Keanu just like yelling out, "You're breathtaking! You're breathtaking!" All the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh God, no, now I can't stop that. I mean, coming from Keanu Reeves, that's that. Um, <laughs> do we think this was Keanu's people? Like, that's like, you need to stop this. Like, how do they, are they still talking? Is CD Projekt Red and Keanu still talking? Or was it CD Probably Projekt not. Like, Okay, we'll, we'll step in before we get um, into like, legal trouble. Unless Keanu's been like keeping an eye on the whole situation with Cyberpunk and called them up and was like, "What the hell did you guys do?" Yeah. You know, like I, I can I, I think probably they're just they're just like, "Yeah, we're gonna take that out of the game because that kind of goes against maybe the contract that they had with Keanu." Yeah. And that's probably it. You yeah. know, it's it's it just has stuff to do with uh, just with legal. You know, just yeah. to just to make sure that. I, like I, I don't think Keanu would necessarily be upset, but I'm sure there wasn't anything in his contract that said is the character can have sex with you in this game. <laughs> like that, you know, <laughs> I think that's it. That, like it's one thing to have a character or like a resemblance in a game and stuff, and then there's another like depicting certain acts. Like Keanu's people definitely didn't sign off on that. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I think as a general note to to the article and the whole situation, mm -hmm. like yes, it is them trying to reach for some good PR in general or just some good word of mouth um but like it's still cool like that there's mod support that's that's yeah. a nice thing it's always nice when games do that or when you see different developers do that for the communities because like I, and i was reading the uh the article that you linked um from the verge yeah um where they were mentioning that like people were already modding the game you know <laughs> yeah. even before before there was developers before, yeah because cool. there was um people who modded or that where you could make it third person game, yeah which is what yeah. Yeah. initially yeah. said the game might be and then well, I wish it was on that as well. So yeah. yeah. Well, and I think they like modders were fixing the bugs in the game. Yep. Like, I'll just let them go by. wild here. Fix our game for us, please. Like seriously. You know, 
Yeah. They need as much outsourcing as possible yeah. right now. And you know what? This is the right move because Marcel actually last week we talked about how CD Projekt, they just keep opening their mouths and talking and talking. Yeah. Yeah. And they actually stated that, you know, fixing the issues, the bugs in the game wasn't their um, initial uh, concern. That's kind of something later <laughs> down the road. And maybe that's because now they're giving the game in modders' hands. Mm -hmm. And this actually may be the best PR move for them. Like they've kind of built up this game to be like the best game of 2020. Yeah. It flopped because of the like game breaking bugs. But now let's meme it. Like people have been memeing it. Let's take advantage of that if I was CD Projekt Red. And now let's put it in modders' hands. Like that yeah. seems like a completely Keanu, like in a movie, like Keanu yeah. Reeves starring the game that broke 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and yeah. now it's in your hands to fix it yeah. you know like <laughs> this is it's just something that kind of writes itself it's just kind yeah. of unfortunate that like the short-term legacy of this game is now just going to be what kind of funny mods are there out there like Absolutely. oh cool now there's going to be cd project red with mcdonald's's grimace involved in cutscenes <laughs> like you know like that that's that ha that no, no I, absolutely. I <laughs> but but like Marcel said, like that usually happens yeah. five or six yeah. years down the line when down everyone's line, yeah. over the game, not months, not yeah. three yeah. months after the game comes out. Like that's yeah. that's not really that great. Like for, for example, Left 4 Dead, yeah. I know we mentioned that earlier. Um Valve actually approved one of like the biggest mods that were yep. out there. Mm -hmm. And like they just released it out for everyone. And like the that, final like, look DLC. All, like, look how old Left 4 Dead is. Like it was back yeah. in 360 days. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, that stuff goes a long way in, in yeah. general, you know, like just yeah. to have that community support to recognize your community and cyberpunk really needs to do that right now, you know, know. because there are people who are still yeah. sticking by this game. There are still yeah. people who want to play it and, and support it in some way. And so you definitely got to show your support back for those kind of people. And yeah, I mean, just like uh, Camille was saying, like there are people straight up modding like bug fixes for, yeah. for cyberpunk which is nuts so like yeah if you if you want to like put this out there essentially get some sort of outsourcing in a in a like in a way where it doesn't seem deliberate you know in a way where it's just kind of sneaky um you know, they can't pay for it with all their lawsuits yeah mm -hmm. you know? so so this could this could be helpful uh let's see like what it means down the road for cyberpunk 2077 when the game does get fixed fully and it's in a good state but that's but, um, interesting to me, right? Because now this changes for me what Cyberpunk 2077 is. It's GTA Cyberpunk. That's what I think now when I think. Is that not what people saw it as though already? I didn't see it as that when it was no? being marketed at all. I, I okay. It was GTA and Cyberpunk. Like it, it never crossed. But now okay. that modders have full control because of what modders did for GTA five with like um, role playing and stuff i feel right. like this has a huge advantage for cyberpunk to, this is probably the thing we were looking for to kind of bend uh it upwards for uh, cd project red yeah. i really think modders could be the change of how we look at this game if they're able to build a real community around you know the rpg element and streaming this game yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, did they even like? Did they ever fix that? Fix that game breaking bug that uh that came out with their latest patch as well? Like, I think they said something about a workaround. I don't know if it's like yeah. fully fixed, but yeah, people found a workaround, but I don't think it was because of CD Projekt Red. It was just <laughs> it was the community <laughs> ones again. Like, yeah. there you go. <laughs> and that's the thing. You still have, you know, Steve. I know you were talking about. Um, you didn't have too many bugs. Uh, not, not that many. No. Um, I know I did. However, and we had uh, Leah here uh, yeah. before, and she was really hyped for jumping into cyber, uh, you know, this cyberpunk world. But you have people that are dedicated like that, that mm -hmm. will play the game, although it's broken, and continue to stick with the game because yeah. they've invested so much into it. So yeah. there's already a niche community for cyber cyberpunk 2077 that's there, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be the community that's like, okay, let's make this work. And the saddest part is now CG, CD Projekt Red is just going to reap the reward from that, right? Um, yeah. Especially as they introduce multiplayer, which we know is coming. Mm -hmm, I yeah. really do see modders now taking full advantage to that. And I would not be surprised if we see... I, I'm going to say it right now. I'm not surprised if in a few months we see um, Cyberpunk 2077 being one of the top stream games on Twitch. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. 
I don't see that. I don't see that either. I don't see that being the case. Dates and remember this. (laughs) (laughs) We write up the quote. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be one of the top streaming games on Twitch. I just couldn't disagree more. Maybe when the multiplayer comes out, maybe. Maybe. But here's the thing: the more I played of Cyberpunk, the more that I was like, man, if this is supposed to be like a competitive multiplayer mode in some way, or a multiplayer mode where there are going to be instances where I get into gunfight with another dude. This is it's not a good FPS. I'm no. just going to I'm just going to come out and say it. everything feels so no, weighty. No. I play on like like a one millisecond monitor. It feels like I'm playing like 10, 10 millisecond, 20 millisecond delay mm-hmm. every time I'm playing like in any sort of close encounter or like a heavy shootout, something like that. Like I, it doesn't feel good. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't feel smooth, doesn't feel fluid. So I don't know how multiplayer mode is going to work for Cyberpunk 2077. But if it has any sort of element where there's going to be an instance of me playing against another like actual player, player uh, it's going to feel like a disaster. <laughs> like yeah. we're just yeah. going to be we're going to be stormtroopers, you know, like it's it'll be a mess. Yeah, uh, it'll be I interesting. Know. I think the whole multiplayer aspect should just be like your friend joins you in this world. Because how they yeah. that game is really to enjoy the world, like all the different things you can do. In Cyberpunk, that's how they built the game. So that's that's why I could really see it as a GTA. Um, and with modders help, hopefully that's what happens. And maybe yeah. that'll turn, you know, the success of well, lack of success of the game around. The the only thing that I'll add to that is like the unfortunate thing is that the mods are only gonna be affecting the best version of the game that's out so far. Yeah. Like yeah. unfortunately it's not mods aren't coming over to console as of now, so you know, the people who are still screwed over by the initial release of Cyberpunk yep. are still playing that worst version. Yep. Yeah. So it's yeah. not like the, the mods can drastically improve them. It's just improving the people on PC. No, which, you're you're absolutely right. Which is, which is good for, uh, for those players. But at the same time, like they really need to crack down and, again. Just stop talking and fix the game. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And what no is a, what is unfortunate with the lawsuit too is the it's the base uh how they marketed the game um yeah. they made it look like it it's, was it's, a, it's xbox and ps4 that's that that's like the main right the base game the, yeah those, okay yeah that yeah. and the whole situation like the the yeah. review embargo fiasco the fact that nobody right. who reviewed the game was able to yeah. use their own footage they were all play on given console PC. yeah they're only yeah. given pc copies of the game yeah i like, think the marketing as well was showing that it was captured on playstation Four or something but it wasn't they showed it they showed it running on xbox one x and series x they yeah. never showed anything yeah, running on the yeah. base mm-hmm. xbox that's or playstation was, yeah. 4 yeah yeah that's what it was so did they show uh, stuff on the ps4 pro no oh so it was only yeah, like yeah. the only ever thing that because they had the marketing deal with xbox uh, which right, is right, right, likely right. why right yeah but um it'll be int- uh, how many of us bet that we won't be talking about uh cyberpunk next week None I of hope us? not. I All hope right. not. We'll, we'll have to see. I am we'll kind of to... sick of it. <laughs> yeah. No, but like it's it's interesting to see it this is. develop because this is this is straight up just one of the biggest game like yeah. gaming yeah. news stories that we've had in recent memory. Yeah. Um, not just because of how like bad the game came out, like how bad of a state it came out, but just because of everything leading up to it, the hype that was built up, the yeah. way that they hid certain things, and the damage control that they've had to try and do for the last two months. You know, it's yeah. it's been it's been insane. So like, yeah, we keep hearing a new story every single week about cyberpunk, but I don't know, like it's one of those like train wrecks that you can't help, but continue to watch. Absolutely. Like, yeah. You just like, you're like, so this interesting. Is, like, oh my God. Like, honestly, like no man's sky all over again. Like, like, yeah. And, and they got a little too cocky with, uh, like with the Witcher three, but Witcher yep. three, when that came out, that was a buggy. And then they, but they quietly took their time to patch the game, like quietly. There's, there's the main yep. word there. <laughs> yeah. But like they just like they, they're not taking this the same approach from what they did with The Witcher Three. Like just stay quiet, fix the game, and you know yep. things will be fine. Yep. And that is the main message. And we'll have to see next week if they're able to stay out of uh, news headlines. Yeah. Hopefully, because we are exhausted. 